Hi, I'm Alex Burkill, meteorologist here at the Met Office. Now, we've had a lot of fog around over recent days, and this has caused disruption at some airports across the UK. This type of fog is called radiation fog, and it forms when the Earth's surface loses its heat overnight, causing moist air near the ground to cool. As it cools, the moisture condenses into water droplets, and this leads to mist or fog. We typically need calm conditions with light winds and largely clear skies, and we've had these down to high pressure across the UK recently. As well as this, we've also had something called an inversion. This is when warmer air sits above colder air. This prevents much mixing within the atmosphere, keeping the cold, moist air near the Earth's surface. We have seen patches of fog across many parts over the last two nights, but it's been most widespread across parts of central, southern and southeastern England. Tonight, the thickest areas of fog are expected to be a little further north. Then tomorrow, a low pressure system will push in from the south, turning things more unsettled. In fog, pilots have to rely on their instruments when taking off and landing. They also have to make sure that the runway is completely clear before making their final approach. Some aircraft are not even able to land in fog, so may have to be diverted to other airports. Ultimately, this means there may be delays, cancellations and diversions, so the advice is to check with your airline prior to travel. Now make sure you keep up to date with the warnings on the Met Office website, through our app and our social media channels.